All right, here we go. We're painting a boat. Nineteen sixty-eight. We're in the military. Nineteen sixty-nine. So a year later. buffet or no no we're not at a buffet we're waving a buffet all you can eat sign so we got out of the military and became a sign waver that's not great yeah janitor we have one hell of a mustache Chapter 1, The President. Okay, so if we click, checking stuff out. It's a red access card reader. It uses flat red cards instead of keys. This company is full of modern technology like that. Okay, let's check it out. Um, what does this sign say? It's my office. It says so in permanent marker right underneath the supply room sign. What's this say? There's a sticky note near the door. It says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you, Frank. Okay, well, let's go in here and see if we need anything first. Uh, oh, it says broken light bulb. I bet we can change that. Uh, yeah, okay, so no, I can change the light bulb. If I click this light bulb, and then do I click this? What do we do here? Okay, that's our inventory. This lets us change it. Okay, interesting. Now, can we pull, turn it on? Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a blue access card level one. Okay, what is this? Employee of the month. Everybody knows those don't count for shit. We got a glove. What about these barrels? What's in these barrels? These barrels were brought in here about a year ago. I don't mind them. I have plenty of space and they hardly smell at all. Yeesh. What is, can I get anything else? Can I get this wrench? Borax, citric acid. I watch police and hand soap. Some of the labels have peeled off, but I keep them in alphabetical order, so that's okay. Okay, so I can't touch it. Okay. Well. Let's go see what else is going on. Oh, this elevator has a blue stripe, so. Let's see. Can we. Blue access card. Okay, so click, click. I love that noise. Permission to enter the bridge, sir. <laughs> Star Trek reference. Very nice. Alright. Let's see. What is this? Modern art. The title reads Into It. It must be French. What about this one? The title reads The Gestalt of Saturn Veil. Just looks like a couple of colored boxes to me. Yeah. Same here, buddy. I, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Can't got your tongue? Just Posture get your honey in there. Let me know in the comments if I got you with that one. It's a common rhododendron. Another door. Mr. Hill's office. I wonder if that's another... Um, Star Trek reference because they have the Dixon Hill character. Maybe because that's President Nixon on the wall, so that'd be funny. Let's see, keep going, Mr. Hill. Yeah, let's talk ah, to him. Jasper. It's, it's Joe, sir. Uh, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders of the 
hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It... it I'm... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments, too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank... He decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Only of course, you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a measurable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I Bro, I'd quit right Congratulations, there. Congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibility. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. I, I would quit right there on the spot. Forget that business, bro. I'm gonna do the work of two people and not get paid more. Mm -mm. Especially if I've been there for two years. Oh, I can run if I click faster. That's cool. All right, well, can we dig in the trash cans? Nope, not that one. We're a janitor. We should be able to check out the trash cans. I bet you there's something hidden in one of them. Is there anything new in here, maybe? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, well. Let's go check out the solder uh, things here. Well, can we dig in this trash can? Nope. Okay, whatever. Put our level two key card in there. What is this? It's a tinfoil hat. Let me put it on. That's wild. Oh, shoot. There's blood on the floor. Frank used to tell a story about activists breaking some of them. Maybe not this time. What about this? Hmm. Well, can you climb up there? No. Okay. Well, something clearly got away up there. Oh, there's more blood. Look at it, bro. Look at the blood. Hmm. Okay, but it goes past. Okay, can we dig in this trash can? Okay, so he's like, Frank must have left in a hurry. Oh, yeah, don't stick your hand in there, bro. You could get electrocuted. Okay, so then we have to put on the gloves. Cool. Okay. Got it. I removed that thing and pushed it back into place. Push the button. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Bro, there's a ton of blood. Can I open this door? Let me see. Bar, it's like one of those doors where two people have to turn keys at the same time to open it. It's just like something out of a secret agent movie. Only this one doesn't use keys, just buttons. Okay. Well, Bar out. I mean, interesting. Management needs to know about this. I don't need proof this time, though, ever since that stupid alley and Frank. Looks like something right out of a science fiction movie. Okay. Oh, I bet we use this to wipe up the blood. Okay. Need to get this to management. All right, Mr. Dixon Hill. We're coming to talk to you. Come on, bro. Jog. Can I put on the tinfoil hat now? No? Come on, let me put it on. Whatever. 
Frank used to tell stories about active break-ins. Some of them would wear homemade protection like this, but there hasn't been a break-in since the new security system was installed. So somebody broke in. <laughs> Alright, let's keep jogging, jogging, jogging. Come on, buddy. Let's go figure this out. Alright, let's... No. Uh, well, let's see if I can just go talk straight to Mr. Hill. It's locked. I guess we'll have to talk to Miss Gillette. Gillette? I don't know. Yes, we heard the rhododendron thing. Um, Miss Gillette? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no. I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now. Let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. It'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. What? Oh, goodness. I don't... I don't need a band-aid. But whatever. I don't even have a boo-boo, bro. Where am I supposed to put the band-aid? There's got to be a chair. Can I take this chair and put it in the elevator with me? Come on, like one of these barrels, maybe? What is this, torch or something? I got to find a way to get up that elevator shaft. I'm sure of it. Let me have the hat. Okay, whatever. So the elevator is empty, right? Like, there's nothing else I can do in here. Okay. Can I check this trash can? Maybe I can open that with using the computers. What about this? Can I touch this? Can I touch this computer? Do that pong machine that they just got down at Izzy's. That thing's amazing. I've been down there almost every night after hours since they set it up. Frank says it'll fry my brain, but I think it works just fine. It's a big computery thing. I'm not really sure what it does. Okay, can I go in here? Maybe there's a ladder in here. The label on the keypad says cryogenics. It's locked. Okay, let's go check the coat. Maybe there's more things in the coat. Can I get in here? No, okay, let's touch this computer. Oh, okay, there's red lights. Note to self, don't touch anything. It looks like something right out of a science fiction movie. Okay, so if I touch this one and then touch this one, will it, will it do something? No, it won't. I'm a bit sweaty. I should keep away from that thing. Far out. Mm, oh, I bet I used the band-aid to hold on the button. Yep, okay. Now push this button. Let's go. Oh, there's a dead dude. Was he dead? Oh, he's not dead. Mister, are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh. That's that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No. Don't, don't get anyone. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what- I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. 
Listen, <coughs> I'm shot mad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing That's on gross. the brink of an extinction level event, set in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future. How the much senior could they happens. be, bro? You're a dinosaur. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, <laughs> I am what you would probably perceive as a time Oh, now traveler. he's calling me stupid. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! Damn it, Trump. I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting, overachieving parking attendant. Who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for Fleeceable me. enough? Oh. I... I want you to find me. This guy's a And dick. tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional. That looks like a landmine mixed with a hand grenade. Instrument. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? <laughs> For reasons you'll quickly come to realize, the device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mr. Between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <coughs> go. <coughs> go. Mister? Mister? Yeah, Help run, bro. Oh, we're not going to go Stay talk right to this guy and get another bandage. You got to help me. There's a guy in there. He, he, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. What, bro? Come on, in real life, you know the maintenance and the guards are homies. You know it. Oh, chapter two. Okay, time to pause. All right, everybody. Well, if you like that, um, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. I'll be uploading all the chapters of this one video at a time. I appreciate everybody stopping by and hitting up the channel. If you want to see some other games you've been interested in playing, let me know. And as always, take it easy.